hello friends today i'm going to share you one real time experience uh, just like uh, why um, the error log getting full okay so we got one requirement to that to track the uh, all the logins who are log who are logging in successfully and getting failed as well so for that in the server properties whenever we used to get this thing right so whenever we connect we done that this option okay to track okay you we need to restart the instance okay now if i see here uh, click i restart here click yes 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 so now if i read this i am taking one more connection xp underscore read error log i am using this command as of now i am having 163 rows if i click that again 164 each and every time it will get increase now if i see here come here see login success for ever if i take new connection as well so previously i am a 168 right i have open one connection if i click execute see it got increase 171 now if i see here see how these many connections so for even though even though we see that see these many options we used to get simply for two connections only i got these many records this many uh, record okay if i go here and i declare variable so 30 records so in real time so many users so many users are connecting to the sql server there could be n number of uh, connections okay so if let's assume that so if 50 and each and every time they used to just select command for every uh, click it is going to uh, Uh, track this record right so how many pages how many inserts will get uh, captured into the main error log file so this will this setting will flood your error log file and make uh, the log file full whenever the log file full get full the sql server will get busy and that when uh, it will uh, the chain the uh, the process will get slow so that's how uh, one of the uh, that's how one of the reason okay the, uh, the sql server will act very slow okay so here what uh, like one thing is like what i need to recommend to you is um uh, whenever we got this requirement you just enable that okay so once the requirement got finished okay so i i would recommend that once the requirement like got finish so you just uh, go on disable on select only fail logins or none or you can use separately extended events so using this option will make the your error log got full i hope you may like this video thank you bye